Hello everyone and welcome back to Don't Keep Up With The Joneses, the cooking edition. So today I'm back with my air fryer. Y'all love to see about these air fryers. Cause air fryers is actually a real good way to be, you know, like healthy. Y'all know I'm trying to lose weight. I got this clothing line out, rain to me. I'll put the link in the box below the description box. So I'm trying to really looking cute and finding these clothes. I'm losing weight. I know y'all see it, don't say you don't. So today I'm making catfish in the air fryer. So step one, I'm gonna jump into this. Like, comment, subscribe. That's always step one. Step one is like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Step two is wash your hands. Make sure your hands is clean. My hands are already clean. If I ever forget to say wash your hands, I didn't forget to wash mine. Make sure you wash yours, wash your hands, step one when you're making food. Now, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna preset your air fryer. I have a Chefman air fryer. Now, I went with this particular air fryer because it comes with a rotisserie function. I have not used that function yet, but I definitely plan to. But preset your air fryer to 400 degrees. And then, so do that, so start. And if you like, well, how do I preset my air fryer? Just put it at the temperature, put a little more time on it than what you need, and press start. So I preset mine at 400. Now, the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna rinse your catfish, rinse everything you cook, okay, people? And then you're gonna pat it dry. So this is me patting it dry. I already had rinsed it, but you know what? I need another plate, because this way is wet. All right. This plate is wet because I rinsed it and I have put it around this plate. So now I got another plate. Okay. So pat it dry. And if you need to, transfer it to another plate because you don't want it to be too wet because you're frying it. Even though you air frying it, you're frying it. You don't, you know, don't, don't fry water. I mean, I don't know if that's even a thing, but don't fry water. So go ahead, do that like that, pat it dry, get rid of this extra plate, get rid of this wet paper towel, okay, right there, not so way. Now, I got this Louisiana fish fry product, bring the taste of Louisiana home, Cajun crispy fish fry seafood bread and mix. Now, I did see that on a recipe I was looking at, they have one that say air fryer, I think, but I didn't see that at my grocery store and I was like, well, it'll work itself out. Y'all already know that's how I feel, it'll work itself out. So, I'm gonna open this with my kitchen shears. If y'all don't have kitchen shears, y'all need to get y'all some kitchen shears. That's scissors that's just for the kitchen and, and they can cut meat and stuff too, but you don't use that for nothing else but when you're in the kitchen, okay? This is bothering me. This is bothering me. Okay, now I'm gonna put this. Does it say a certain amount? I didn't even look at that. Mm. Roll fish in fish mix. I don't know. It don't. I don't think it really say how much. So just put some because we're just gonna put enough to coat it. Now, normally when I fry something, I'll make like a egg wash and I'll put the catfish in it or the, whatever I'm frying. The, whatever, chicken, fish, whatever. In the little like egg wash, and egg wash is when you like crack some eggs, scramble it, add some water or milk, whatever, and stir it up and that's an egg wash. But this didn't say to do that. So, and then the recipe I was looking at, the lady, she didn't say nothing about that either. So, I'm gonna just put it straight on there like this. And my goal is to do my, um, preheat my air fryer for about five minutes. So that's, that's what I'm doing. That's my goal with that. And really just however long it take me to do this. I just want it to already be hot. Okay. Now I can smell the seasoning. So I'm thinking it's going to turn out good. Oh, you know what y'all? I need to get my, um, my pan. Get my pan. So I can spray my air fryer. Now, if you watch my videos before with my air fryer, you already know they say, don't spray your air fryer with pan, but I don't care about that. I'm gonna do it anyway, cause 
Pam is easy and they be like, well, rub it down with oil. Like, I don't know what they want you to do, but I spray mine with Pam. I've not experienced any issues in doing that. So, you know, you could be rogue like me or whatever. So I'm gonna just set this one. Ooh, this one is hot, y'all. Set this like that. Um, I'm looking like this because I'm looking like, oh man, am I gonna run out of space? I got three fillets. I'm gonna have to end up doing two batches because it's not all gonna fit in one. But that's all right. I don't mind it. It's not a big deal. Like that, like that. So I'm gonna just don't layer it though. When you're air frying stuff, don't layer it. Don't layer anything in your air fryer. That's a rule they said that I actually do believe in. I don't believe in a lot of cooking rules, but. That just seemed like a recipe for disaster if you layer and stuff in your air fryer. So don't do that. All right. So now that I got this one covered in the um, stuff or whatever, I see a little spot right there. Right there. Okay. I'm going to put this one. I'm going to bring the camera over. You know, I feel like if I wanted to force it, I could try to force this third piece in there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just sprinkling the seasoning on places where I feel like it's a little missing. You don't want it to be missing. Okay. So this highlight my fishing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that up. I'm actually gonna put the timer on 20 minutes. And at 10 minutes, I'm going to um turn it over. I don't think you actually have to do that, but the person in the recipe said they did it, and I like the idea of doing that, so. Okay, you guys, so I'm just gonna show you me flipping this fish over. This is it about, don't pay attention to all the stuff in my kitchen, y'all. This is the fish about halfway through, so I'm gonna take it, got my tongs, I'm gonna carefully, ooh. This might not be a good idea, y'all. Okay. So one thing I do remember, they said spray it. Can I spray it? Okay. Now I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna flip this over, y'all. Ooh, y'all. You know what? I'm gonna use a spatula. This would probably be better. I use a spatula. All right. I got my pancake spatula. Gonna do like this. Oh, the struggle. No rain. It's fish. Go sit down. All right. I'm just gonna. Okay. Could have been much worse. The bottom is a little, you know, I think I should just leave it. Like I'm flipping it. I don't know y'all. Okay, I'm not gonna Flipping it. Woo. Nothing girl. Okay. Just a little, this flip is a little Mommy. reckless. Rain, go sit down. Go sit down. So this flip was a little reckless, just a little bit. Not crazy reckless. I don't know. If y'all have ways that y'all be flipping. If y'all have ways that y'all be flipping stuff in your air fryer, let me know. Let your girl know. Alrighty, so... The fish is done. I'm going to use my spatula to take it off. And I can tell this joint is crispy. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna let y'all get a close up. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. For more videos, we do all kinds of videos. 
I'm so excited. We're about to be doing a series of like adult hack videos, teach you how to get stuff for cheap. I already did a video on like how to fly anywhere for like the best price ever, flight, hotel, all that included. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Hmm, it's so beautiful. I'm so excited, you guys. It was really easy. So again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, don't keep up with the Joneses. I'll let y'all know how this tastes down in the comments, all right?